Hello and welcome back to Snow Runner and the Hard Mode series. We're just going to jump straight back into it. Last time out, um, we're about halfway through our super. Oh, can't even reverse it up. Halfway through our super order and our cement orders. Right, we'll try and leave this trailer here. We shouldn't need this anymore. Let's see if I can put it somewhere. I still need to give myself space to get out. There we go, we'll just attach that there. Yeah, so we need to go back into uh, the dam. We need to go to the dam and we need to deliver the supplies for Super Order into Black River. And the cement into Black River and we need to deliver the supplies and cement into Drummond Island. Now I think I said at the end of the last episode I was going to take the fuel trailer that's here and just pull it through uh, to the entrance for whatever reason. I'm sure I had uh, logic behind that but I don't recall saying that. So that's what we'll do. We'll grab that on the way through. And then hopefully the, uh, the two deliveries will be smooth sailing I'm trying to think of what we've got where I think it's just taking the cement through into uh, Drummond because the parts that need delivering are on the trailer anyway aren't they we set that up, that's all waiting for us actually in Drummond, so it's just taking the cement in there I think we've got the twin steer. It's been about three days since I uh, recorded the last episode, so apologies. I think, I think, um, yeah, the twin steer is loaded up for uh, Black River. Pretty, pretty sure of it. But as always, I hope you're all well. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, Sticking with the journey, I always say it, appreciate you sticking with the journey. It is a, a long slog. It's going to get longer. Enjoying it though, I love this game. Absolutely love it. And we've got, <laughs> we've got 15 more maps to go, maybe 16. 16 more maps to go. Uh, at the point of recording this, the, uh, the next season isn't out yet, but I think it's due soon. Maybe in a couple of weeks. No, I just want to bring it through because when we come through with the logs oh, for doing the logging jobs, uh, we won't be able to pull it. So if we pull it sort of through now, it's, it's at least it's in the map we want it in. What am I doing? Should we grab some fuel as well? All right, let's uh, let's head through into the dam. going to leave it. Just up the road, we'll have to come back down and collect it again, I think. I'm trying to think how we're going to do it, because I want to use the White Western, probably for the medium logs. So, yeah, I can't leave the truck here, I don't think. So I need to get this back up. Now, I've attached this a million times. I think this is empty, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, but we're, but we're in, <laughs> for a change, we're in good nick. Um, I'll take it back with me, actually. I don't think I'll need it here. I'll take it back with me. Now, 
is there fuel in this? I will forget. By the time I come back around again, I will forget. Nope, that's empty. That stayed there. That's fine. So we'll sort of get this up to the garage, I think. I think this will be the best route yet. Stick our all wheel and our diff on. A little gear plus, and um, yeah. Try and get there as quick as we can. I think because we were, we were doing the, uh, the the time to challenge at the end of the last episode, we actually overran by about 45 minutes into the day. So we are, we are an hour short today. And there was me trying to swing it round to a, an earlier start, so we had more daylight at the start. Uh, is it just me, or did that look a little bit boggy at normal? What's going on? All this for a few, <laughs> a few measly repair points. But we, we keep paying to repair and buy tyres and stuff, so... There is another one as well, isn't there, on the map that's out in the middle of nowhere, down there at the bottom of the swamp, where we where we recovered the uh, the White West, and I believe that's the one that's still down there. Perhaps at the end, when we do a bit of a clear up, collect up what little fuel is left, we'll uh, maybe head down and get that, just so we can try and repair up any vehicles that we have got out that are broken. Just got to be nice if we can repair our vehicles as much as we can before we leave and head out to the next map. It will come, we will eventually reach another map, I promise. Get these two del deliver deliveries done and then we've just got just got login. A login and a tidy up, then it's it's good. I'm not sure how many episodes that I said I'd like to do it in, but I'm not, I, don't, I doubt we're under it, but I'll have to go back and watch the first few episodes and see what I said. Probably about 60. So we might be under it, actually. I mean, we're under 60 now, but by the time we finish... So although it'll look like there's only maybe a handful, if that, a handful of um, logging jobs, they're, they're going to take a while. And we're going to try and do the log loader manually as well, so that, that'll be time consuming. When we were doing the uh, the stream series, we were doing the, the logging manually for a little bit there, and then I thought, oh, actually, if I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to have to do logging manually here, so... Let's keep it simple on the stream series, which unfortunately hasn't come back since we've stopped on on Twitch. But you know, time is a thing. I would love to keep going with both series. But I think I need to try and prioritise the hard mode over the live stream for a little bit. Anyway, we'll see. We're not doing much farming at the minute, so there, there may be there may be gaps. Although I am looking into uh, something a little bit different. So we'll see, we'll see what's come in the next week or two, we'll see what comes.
Felt like it took a lifetime to get across there. Again, I have asked before if people would like to like me to edit out some of the uh, the just traveling parts. Let me know down in the comments, and we can we can implement that down the line. I'm always more than happy to have this rule um, with with quiet spots. I don't mind the silence. Like I said before, the um, Wessel on Wheels, who I like watching do this, although I am falling behind on his series. This is. This. Um, yeah, he, he does it with periods of silence and just listening to the trucks and just watching it go by and I have no issue with that, so that's why I've been quite happy to do it on mine. Am I in the right spot? I don't think I am yet. I've got that one. We'll scooch up here. Although this isn't the obvious path, I just find that bit easier to go up and down with, with the load than actually the bit that's sort of marked up. That's my preferred up, down here, up there. That's how I like to do it. I left a P16 by the entranceway as well to uh, to Black River. Though I might go to Drummond first. I might take the Drummond stuff. Got some logistics to sort out soon moving fuel and trailers and setting up for logging and stuff like that. So if I go... Oh, you can't, because it's not connected. I always do that, don't I? Always, I do actually always do that. Uh, we change truck. I just want to check. Does this one have... Any parts in there? No, but it's got a wheel. it's got one wheel and one wheel. Okay. Let's just carry this on a little further. Then we'll take the we'll take the Fleet Star into Drummond's. That's what we'll do. for fuel. We're good for fuel. I think we're in pretty good working condition. He's had his work cut out lately. The fleet stars doing it. Now the question is, do we go the safe route? <laughs> or... Do we just take the shortcut? We took the shortcut down, didn't we, before? And we had a lot of accidents. A lot of incidents. <laughs> I'm sure that one would have got a comment or two.
I think I'm just going to take the safe route. <laughs> I think I am. I think I'm going to chicken out today. We've had way too much trauma. We'll take the safe route. There's no rush. Well, that nearly got a little bit sideways there, so... Lord knows. Lord knows what's going to happen. Honestly, I said it before, the fleets that I suddenly feel it's so light and bouncy. Like, never before. It's crazy. Still fueling that one in there, yeah. Did it? Have we gone too far away now? We'll just take a little. Because off the top of my head, I can't remember if I left any in <laughs> in Drummond. Probably not. Was well, probably really smart. No, there is. There's a trailer still, isn't there? So I need to go back and collect that as well at some point. But that's all right. We've got fuel to get. Not fuel to get. We've got logs to go in there as well. So that's okay. It's a bit risky, wasn't it, with the uh, the rate I've been popping tyres lately as well. Probably could have took the second one, but I wasn't. I wasn't paying enough attention. Can't lie, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> How much that leads. <laughs> It's like someone's softened up our suspension more than ever. I don't know. You guys let me know. Do you, do you think that my... The fleet style looks bouncy. I feel I feel like it's super bouncy. Look at that, super bouncy. What's going on? There's nothing about it that's modded or anything. This is all base. Base, base, buttery biscuit base. But she be bouncing. Stolen.
Bloody stones, man. I'm going to get puncture soon. The landy is there. It's probably got a bit of fuel in the back as well. Be sure we stock that up. We need to make sure we're on the right job as well, don't we? Because we are currently doing cement. To job and we go. Just got caught having a having a swig of coffee. Right, let's get going. Where is our drop-off point? To the log station. We'll uh, we will go the safe way. We'll go right around. I know. I'm chicken. I just can't be rolling more trucks. I might cry when we roll the uh, roll the logs. Because that's gonna go. We're gonna roll at least one log trailer. That'd be so sad. so sad. <laughs> See, I think we have fuel just around this corner somewhere. Just around from where it uh, goes to dirt, and I think then on on the left up ahead we have our trailer that has the uh, the goods on for the other delivery. So I have to be using the White Western or whatever something with a with a low hitch on to come and collect that later. Must not forget. Because we have to try and repair what we can and fill up the tanks before we move. And then I'm not sure whether I'm going to go with the... Well, yeah, to start with, I'll have the Land Rover. Let me go. Let's be getting all planned for Alaska. I ain't even close yet. But yeah, just use, take the Land Rover over to start with. And then... Um, Depending on finances and what we can get early on, whether I buy the truck I want for it over there, we'll see. We'll see. I think I, I think I probably will. Oh. Because I think that's the only way I'm going to get any sort of modded trucks into the series is if I buy them early on when we arrive on maps. If I've got the money left over from the previous map. I feel like things have changed in the last few days. Truck's got floaty. The mud's got deeper.
It was the one we came across through the, what I call, keep calling the swamp, what I call the swamp. We seem to grind a little bit through that as well with the uh, White Western. This is not a shortcut. This is not the time you're looking for shortcuts, but I don't think that's really like a shortcut through there, is it? Just go round. Just go round. Bit bit late in the map series now to uh, be looking for new shortcuts. Just get the cement delivered. Grab the other parts. Get the job done. Because we don't really want this to be a three-part, the cement in the super order. Although there's two, there's two big jobs getting done at the same time. Might have to grab some fuel. That's oh, because I didn't grab as we went past the, at the other end, didn't it? That's why. I am going to buy some. Yeah. To get all the way across, then all the way back. We probably would have been alright, but. Again, I don't want to get stuck. I don't want to have to pull more trucks through places. I don't have to. We've done too much of that. 400 on the fuel will just, you know. That's what you get for being forgetful. Oh, that's right. So that was about. We've not got anything else running. <laughs> How many times have I said that? <laughs> yeah, I was having a right good think. I was probably decided whether or not to uh, somersault the truck for no reason. The, the early turn off, didn't I? There it is. Now, I don't think there's anything around here we want. I believe we can pick up logs from here later on, but I don't think we need to. I think we're good working out of Black River's logging site and out of um, Dam's uh, logging site. But that's those two done. So then our way out is just to my left, yeah. Oh, shall we... We try and take the shortcut back. Let's do that. Get a shimmy on. What's going to do again? I 
don't like it. I don't like the way it does that. There's no reason for it to do that. and easy. Gotta be careful. There's a little bit of a divot on one side. Should be our void. So even this is feeling a lot tougher than it normally is. What is going on? There we go, we're through. Finally. Yeah, look how deep that mud was. I, was. I swear whenever we've driven through that before, that weren't that deep. I swear down, blood. <laughs> yeah, that's, that seemed crazy deep when we went through it. It's a good job I didn't try and take the shortcut route with the cement on it. I don't think we'd have got through, which is mad. said it before, I'll say it again, I'll say it many times after. I swear that things are normally pretty easy. So they're a lot harder on hard mode for no reason at all. Hook this up on the back, and we'll just tilt that through. And thus, this has all got to go to the port. We will let's change that over for this. See, it is going over here to the port. Again, this part should be relatively simple, so uh, I anticipate a triple backflip into Pike <laughs> off the bridge. <laughs> Oh dear, look at that. 
as soon as we get up the automatic gears. Let's just keep it in low plus. What was that all about? That's the sort of jiggery pokery that'll flip your trailer and spill your cargo. Not what we be want. Tarmac will stick it in automatic now. Should be a bit friendly. A little bit quicker. It's a bit slow there, won't it? I do apologise. I, I can't get it to go any quicker. <laughs> Just doesn't do it. Right, it's top speed. For those done, and we can leave this trailer behind as well. They can keep that. Oh, I didn't leave enough room to squeeze past it. Go on. There we go. So we now need to head back into Drummond. Not Drummond, we're in Drummond. Back into um, the dam.
for me, I think this is where free recovery is coming in handy. Uh, just for the convenience of getting trucks back all into one map or back to the garage. Oh, we don't have that. It's the only time I really use recoveries. If I flip trucks, I'd usually try and um, oh, I would do that. If that was daylight, I'd maybe do that. I'm not going to do that, actually. But yeah, it's the only times I really use the uh, recovery truck, even on like normal mode. It's just for a convenience thing. If I flip a truck, I have to, I have to get it back up the right way regardless. Unless I, you know, unless I can't. Like with the uh, P16, both times. The extra slabs I didn't need. <laughs> Oh dear. See, the silly things like that, like wasting wasting the time and the fuel to drive out of this map, to go pick that up, to drive back in, to get there, to realise we don't need it, to then drive out to find where the stuff is that we do want. Like, that's just amateurish. Amateurish it was. Yeah, we can drive through there. So we will. We can grab fuel at the Land Rover at the other end. We should be able to just sneak through here. Sort of. Saves us a few minutes. Easy there, brother. Here we go. I will skip that. Put the light on. Put your light on, Bubba. Let's go. Target. I wanted to come the last little bit out of the scout. Take some out of the camel. Actually, I think what I'll do, I'm actually going to leave this here. And then, when I bring it back, I'll head to the warehouse and we'll do that job we'll run down to the to the house in the swamps we'll do that delivery again earn ourselves an extra penny by replaying that one uh, so what we want to do is jump to the twin stair next and this is loaded up ready for going in the other direction this is loaded up ready for black river Is that it? I've got no other 
know the lights to help me there with reversing to, to see if there's a, a decent bit of terrain behind. I don't think I've ever taken the twin steering to, uh, to Black River before. It's a little bit OP for the map, I think. So we'll, we'll see how we get on with it. It should be fine. If I, you know, I don't do stupid things, I get it stuck or roll it over. I mean, this this should be a pretty tough one to roll because of its length. Also makes it a pain in the backside to try and <laughs> do a three point turn in the road with. All, all, all the vehicles today. Let's see if we can grab a little bit of a still there for thumbnail or something. It's not easy to get thumbnails on this series because I don't like pausing it and going into photo mode. I try and grab something as we're going along or at the start or at the end. So sometimes they all look a bit the same and irrelevant to what the job is. I can't wait. Yeah, I don't know why I'm in low gear. Wasting time, really. It's probably got about ten minutes IRL to get this done. Soon brightens up as the sun comes up. Not like I don't really know what the time is, but. Sure, it's, it's getting on. Just winch onto the P16 and bring that through with us. There we go. And break. There we go. We'll leave the uh, P16 there for now. Right in the way for where I want to go back. <laughs> So just check the cement. Super order is going to the old house. What? Does it need help oh, beams of concrete? I did that. Oh, it's because it's all one part. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> so whoa, we did that. Don't tell me there was two, and I absolutely screwed up. We didn't. And then cement is just going into town storage. So that's fine. 
Don't, don't stop the twin steer. On a hill, it'll either fight your life and think you can't progress forwards. Look how quick the sun came up. Toes out your day like real quick. Get both of these deliveries done. Piece of cake. Turning the twin steer around up by that old house is going to be fun. But other than that, it should be a piece of cake. And try, actually trying to get it into the town storage. How am I going to do that? Uh, uh, that's right tight. I mustn't forget to collect up the uh, GMC as well at some point. That's still just sitting by the side of the road, I think. I'm sure I saw that on the map. It's probably been sitting there since about episode 10. So sometimes it's a little bit conflicting in, in what vehicles you should get. Because if you shot over and you, and you got this right early on, Especially if you're doing it on easy mode and you don't have to worry about paying for payloads. Like, this is a beast to run around with. So even if you just had something that could only, you know, do a bit of craning onto it. Even on hard mode, I guess, getting this earlier on would, would be good. Providing you're, like, leveled up enough that you can put the tyres on it and maybe have one or two upgrades unlocked for it. Get them bins out of the way. Am I not on cement? Nope. There we go, we are now. There we are. So that's brought us up to 123,000, which is nice. 20 grand off that. Bang tidy. 2,000 XP. Told you that was a big jobby. What's that over there? What have we... Have we not triggered such a job? Have I missed a job? I'll drive into that on the way down. Isn't that just picking up... job is it oh we still got to do that oh oh we still got to do that as well okay we need to come through here with our scout we need to get the land over in here oh that might be what they are then enter tank, tank for the workers meteorological data so that's there what's that job Missing machine. Have I not done that? How have I not done missing machinery? Local entertainment. Missing machinery. How have I not done that? That's like one of the really early jobs. That's the job you do that teaches you how to pick up with your crane. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's it. I wonder if my fleet style will pick up the land job and stick in this, in this flatbed. I wonder if I'll do that. So I just bring it through on it. As if I've still got three jobs in here that I'd forgotten about. Why has no one commented that I forgot that? <laughs> Look how far I'd finished. That's sunk my heart, that has <laughs> sunk my heart. <laughs> Let's 
get that rock out of the way. There we go. And that's 32,000 for the uh, the super order. So it's brought us up to 155,000, which is nice. I can't believe I've got jobs here to do. Perhaps I didn't forget. Perhaps I, I, I've just forgotten. Like I said, I'd come back and do it. It's been a while, hasn't it? As if. That's crazy. Actually crazy. I thought I just had a few login jobs left. All oh, that meteorological data. Sometimes it takes me a couple of attempts to do that. Because I get lost. It's an in-cab job, isn't it? You have to do that one in-cab. You have to hit like five. Is it five or six points on the map? Without coming out of cab? I have to try and lay some blue markers down for that little knife. Oh, what's time? It's eight o'clock on the dot. There we are. Engine off. Right, well, that's going to be it for today, for this one. Uh, I think next time round, I'll be taking the twin stair through. I'm going to try and tow the GMC with it as well. So we'll get that through. We'll get them up to the, uh, the main garage in the dam, because that's where we'll be exiting the map from. We'll get them in there, because we don't need them anymore. Uh, then I guess I'm, I'm bringing the Fleet Star and the uh, Landy through into Black River. And um, we're going to have to finish off doing the jobs that are in here, I guess. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.